Hello friends, welcome back to the Dethrone YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to teach you one of the easiest attack strategies that you can use at Town Hall 11. The P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat Attack Strategy. I will show you the Bat Wave and Bat Bomb versions and when to use them. This is the troop composition and of course you need to make changes according to the opponent base design, you can use Wall Wrecker instead of Log Launcher too. And hey, I'm rebuilding my clan and we're recruiting non-rush Town Hall 12s and above, join if you're interested. Now let's jump to the tutorial. First I'll show you the Bat Wave strategy. We need to look for the Inferno Towers and Wizard Towers and try to take some of them down with our kill squad. Here the best option is to attack from this side, with our Log Launcher passing through these two Inferno Towers. But first we need to clear the sides with our P.E.K.K.A.s for funnel. Then we will deploy our kill squad and wipe out this section of the base using early rage spells. That will destroy all of these key threats. Then we will drop our bats here. They will clear all these defenses, we just need to freeze the wizard towers. Now let's do the attack. Alright let's start by deploying two P.E.K.K.A.s on both the corners to create the funnel. Give them some time to clear out enough buildings to make sure that our kill squad enters the base. Once that's done, drop the remaining P.E.K.K.A.s and the Log Launcher. Back them up with the Healers, King, Queen, Bowlers and the Grand Warden. Drop an early rage spell right when they go past the wall. The CC troops are out now, just use a poison spell. The early warden ability along with the rage spell can tear down the base right from the start with insane speed. You don't necessarily have to use the warden ability early all the time, we did that here because of the enemy queen and super minions attacking our troops. The second rage spells are used on the bowlers that come out of the siege machine and that will start the second round of explosive damage from our side and will tear down the core of the base. We have deployed the bats from the corner, this wizard tower is already distracted so there's no need to freeze. Deploying the bats outside the base gives them time to form a huge wave, hence the name Bat Wave. We perfectly executed this attack, but this attack is not a surgical one, so it is noob friendly and can tolerate some mistakes, you can recover some attacks, even if you fail the funneling part. I will show you an example next. This base is perfect for a bat wave as we can destroy these two inferno towers with our kill squad. First let's drop an electro here to clear the section. At 12 o'clock, we can use a P.E.K.K.A. Let's give them some time to create the funnel. This is where I made the mistake. I just deployed my kill squad without clearing this area to the side. I'm doing the commentary while editing the video, so I noticed that just now. All of our P.E.K.K.A.s, Bowlers, and Healers are going around the base. This doesn't look good, but we still have our heroes inside. The Bowlers inside our Log Launcher will create that second explosion, so we can still clear out the core of the base, and that's the beauty of P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat Attack Strategy. Now let's wait out and find a suitable path for the bats. I deployed the bats from this side because our troops have healers on the other side and are moving pretty strong and doesn't need the help of bats to save them. This base is getting crushed and we have plenty of time left. So that's P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat Attack with Bat Wave for you. Next up I will show you how and when to use the Bat Bomb. So don't click away now. Take a good look at the position of splash defenses on this base. Attacking through this path might seem to be a good idea, but the value from log launcher will be less. So we'll attack from this corner, through this heavily defended area and take down these threats. With the help from rage spells the kill squad will clear this area, of course we will do the funneling too. The bats will be dropped on this inferno. 
They will take it down with the help of two freeze spells and will move in this direction. Enough planning, now let's do the attack. We will use an electro and some baby dragons to create the funnel this time. You have to choose the funneling troops properly. It's better not to use electro if there's an air defense nearby. The kill squad is out now. So how do we decide when to use the bat bomb or the bat wave? It's not easy to answer as we can't generalize all the base designs. If we can take out both the infernos with kill squad, then bat wave is the best option, but I said it, we can't generalize all the scenarios, sometimes we might want to bat bomb the eagle artillery. Bat bomb is mostly used on inferno towers that our kill squad can't reach, even better if there's a wizard tower nearby which can be freezed with the same spell. Don't use bat bomb in an area that splits our bats into multiple small groups, I will show you an example in the next attack. The inferno is located at the end of the bat's path, only this archer tower is out of the way, so they will regroup quickly. So now you know the basics. Create funnel, destroy Atlas 1 Inferno Tower and some wizard towers with kill squad, drop the first rage early, and the second rage on CC bowlers, poison enemy CC, and slightly earlier warden ability. And hey, I forgot to tell you, the ice golems are used to distract wizard towers in case we run out of freeze spells, just like in the drag bat attack strategy. Now watch the attack carefully. Here we can use the bat bomb, but the bats might split into small groups. So we will do bat wave instead. I know doing bat bomb in this particular situation is perfectly fine, but I'm doing bat wave just to give you an example. In some scenarios there will be defenses behind the inferno and the bats might split into many groups and lose the value. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. But hey if you are confused, just go with the bat wave, it works most of the time. If your kill squad has already done enough work, as bat wave is the most commonly used one. Watch these attacks and check whether you can predict the troop and spell placements, so you know whether you've learned the strategy or not. And you can check out my Town Hall 11 playlist for more awesome TH11 tutorials.
can hear 